Today in 2006, Honda Odyssey, we're going to install part number 90885 from Tikancha. This is a P2 brake controller. We're also going to use part number ETBC7, the brake controller installation kit. And to mount our 7 pole connector to the hitch, we're also going to use another part number 18136, the universal mounting bracket. We'll start off our install by installing the universal bracket onto the hitch. It'll clamp on the place. Okay, now for brackets installed, now we can start on assembly of our wires on our 7 to 4 pole adapter. We can go ahead and install the 7 pole connector and its wires into the bracket. All right, next we'll go ahead and take our four pole connector that's on the ETBC7 kit and connect it to the existing four pole that's already on the van. We'll use some dielectric grease to protect the contacts and then seal it up. We'll also use a zip tie to make it a permanent connection. We'll take a moment to zip tie our wires in place here, and then we'll continue on running our gray cable up to the front of the vehicle. Then we'll take our white wire to ring terminal and ground that to the frame. To attach our ground, we're going to use a number 14 self-tapping screw. And then we'll continue on running our gray cable up to the front of the vehicle. We're going to run it up to the battery. And when we do that, we'll make sure we stay away from anything that's hot, like the exhaust, or anything moving, like suspension or steering components. We'll leave the gray cable alone for now, and we'll go ahead and install our circuit breakers. Now we're going to install two circuit breakers, a 40 amp circuit breaker and a 20 amp circuit breaker. We're going to mount them off to the side on the firewall here, next to the fender. Now we'll go back to our gray cable and we'll go ahead and cut the sheath away. We'll cut the sheath away as far as we can to separate our black and white wires. We'll take our black wire and run it through the 40 amp circuit breaker. We'll cut the wire in half. We'll add a ring terminal to each side. Okay, when we start our black wire for a 12 volt power supply going out back, we'll run it through the 40 amp circuit breaker. One thing you want to know is that the silver post will go out towards the 7 pole connector and our copper post will go to the battery. And then we'll add a larger ring terminal to the end of the wire, which will eventually go to the positive side of our battery. Now we'll leave that connection for one of the last things we do. 
Next, we need to run our white wire from the outside to the inside of the vehicle. We're going to drill a hole right above the steering shaft where it goes to the outside. We'll pull away the plastic. We'll make a couple of cuts into the insulation and drill our hole. And when you drill through this hole, just be careful there's a brake booster really close by. Next, we'll go ahead and drill out a pilot hole first. And then we'll follow up with a 916 drill bit. Then we'll install a bushing, part number SWC8055. We'll go ahead and take our white wire and run that to the inside. Then we'll take our excess gray cable and run that from the inside out back up to the battery. Okay, after installing a wire, it looks like it's a little bit short, so we're gonna need to add some length to it. So that'll be part number 10-2-1. We'll add about three extra foot. We're we'll gonna take the black wire, run to the silver post on a 20 amp circuit breaker. and then out of the copper post, we'll run the remaining black wire out to the battery. Now our white wire will be ran directly to the battery ground. If all our wires attached to your circuit breakers and ran out to the battery, still we'll leave the battery connections loose still. Now we'll go back inside and start installing a brake controller. First off, we'll go ahead and hook up our wires to a harness that comes with the brake controller. We'll start off our single white wire, which will be our output from our brake controller, so I'll go back to blue on our wire harness. and then it'll be white to white and black to black. All right, now when we hook up a wire to the brake light switch, we'll hook up to the cold side. So that means when it gets, it puts out signal when the brake pedal is pushed. In this case, it looks like a white wire with a black tracer and silver bands. We use the quick splice connector, it comes with the ETBC7 kit, and make our connection. Then at this point, we can go ahead and start mounting the bracket for our brake controller. 
after that bracket is mounted, we'll go ahead and run our wiring harness through it and into our brake controller, and then set the brake controller into place. With our brake controller hooked up, we can go ahead and take a few moments to go ahead and, and use some electric tape to cover up the uh, electrical connections, and then we'll go ahead and zip tie it up and out of the way. We'll go back underneath the hood and make our final connections. We'll go ahead and hook up our two black power wires to the battery positive terminal. And then we'll go ahead and attach our white ground wire to the negative terminal. We're going to use a, an extra nut, a 6mm by 1.0 thread pitch, to attach our ground wire to remaining threads on the clamp. With everything hooked up, we can go check for power at the brake controller. Alright, now you show two dots for power. We'll go ahead and move the manual override and it shows NC for no connection. Then we'll go ahead and hook up a trailer to it. All right, now we can see we have a C for connection, and when we hit the manual override, we have numbers show up. So that means it's working properly. Okay, and with that, that'll finish it for our install part number 90885 from Takancha, the Prodigy P2 brake controller on our 2006 Honda Odyssey.